This movie rocks. Batman Gotham Knight. Batman Gotham Knight is not my favorite of the DC animated universe, but it's still a damn good entry into the DC cinematic, I mean animated universe. Okay. Uh, this was also based. They was this was marketed as the first Batman movie, animated movie, to be PG thirteen in the universe. That is a lie, son, because Batman Beyond: Return of the Joker. It's the first PG-13 animated Batman movie. This is the second. So, I'm not stupid, Warner Premiere. Don't try and sway this dude, okay? I'm too nerdy for that shit. <laughs> anyway. So, the film tape is set uh, between Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Loosely taking place after Batman Begins, okay? With these six story arcs, okay? Each of them has their own different kind of style of animation. And each of them are pretty interesting in their own right. Deadshot, however, is kind of the weakest one. But, yeah. The other five are pretty decent, okay? I've, I've got a story for you. It's about kids telling their personal encounters of how Batman either saved them or stop the bad guy and they were just in the vicinity at the time okay um, crossfire is about two detectives uh, Ramirez who was in the movie the Dark Knight of course that two-faced nearly shot um, and another detective get caught in the line in the crossfire of a Russian mob boss and other bad guys of course that is my favorite one because the animation is awesome and the way Batman looks in that one is fucking awesome. Okay, uh, what is the other one? Uh, 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 field test. I like the way Bruce Wayne looks in Field Test. He looks like a Japanese anime character because his hair is all like spread out and stuff like that. You have to see it to know what I'm talking about. Okay, and that involves Lucius Fox and a satellite. That was interesting, but. It was alright. Okay. <laughs> uh, you ha also have... Uh, in Darkness... Uh, darkness... F dwells. I don't care what I say Darkness Falls. Darkness Falls... Um, also... Um, involves Killer Croc. Okay. That one was pretty good. Because I love Killer Croc. He's another one of my favorite Batman villains. And somebody... Another character I really want to see in the live-action movies at some point. You know, we finally got a lizard. Can we give us a killer croc? You know? <laughs> and working through the pain. It's another good one, but... I really don't remember much about um, working through the pain because I love all the other ones a little bit more than that. But it was still an okay segment. All in all, all these shorts are pretty fucking good. Okay, with the assassin of Deadshot, in which Batman has to stop the assassin, well, Deadshot. <laughs> uh, I always think it's funny that they name a segment after a villain, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. <clears throat> the voice acting in this movie is pretty good. I love it, man. Kevin Conroy voices Batman through all six of the movies, as well as certain other actors that come back and voice other characters throughout these arcs. Um, of course, the animation looks good for all of them, really. I just don't like the style. If I what if I got a story for you with the kids, it's kind of it's kind of handy cam skateboardish like animation. You gotta see it to know what I'm talking about. It's okay, but I didn't really I didn't dig it much. But uh, 
That second one? Oh yeah, because Batman looked beast. Okay? The dude is standing in the middle of fire for fuck's sake. His cape is on fire. Okay? That's awesome. Hey, he's just standing there burning up like... Make a move. I still dare you. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. All in all, this movie is fucking awesome. Okay? And I recommend anybody going to watch this movie. Pick it up if you don't got it yet. Because you'd be ashamed not to have it. Okay? Damn. And for that matter alone, Gotham Knight is going to get an A. Fucking love it, man. It's awesome. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Gotham Knight. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? We have like maybe four or five more movies to go in this universe before we have the entire library reviewed in the DC Animated Universe. As well as I got a few more to go outside the DC Animated Universe. Movie universe, anyways. So, alright. I'm out.